Nobody knows yep. with, with their switch to Rob. It's not a matchup you want to play in any prolonged depth. Lucario gives you that mobility, gives you that flexibility. It's like, I can adapt to the matchup. And it was a it was a close set in winners, 2-1. And looking to get this game plan, looking to get a date with Jen in Grand Finals. But, of course, still wants that run back. And naturally, who wouldn't? Who doesn't want to run back with Jen? Who doesn't want to run back? Who doesn't want to run back? Who doesn't want to run back? You want, you want to prove that you, you didn't deserve your run. Bronze Cruisers. And then you gotta go through this matchup again. Uh, BB going against Rob once more, like we said earlier. And the um, Double Z not doing anything, unfortunately, just because I don't think BB's aura is high enough to really kill, right? No, but yeah, you no. gain uh, by just holding away there. Uh, when you trigger the, the counter, it's relatively uh, lagless and you okay. can travel such a long distance. So it's willing to go for it, but without the aura, and you hold, you hold away to make sure that you're surviving. Okay. Instantly, uh, uh, at the start of this game, as we see, uh, as we get to a much more kill-oriented scenario, uh, Vivi had been being a, had been a little bit more forward with some of these rising fares, trying to catch, uh, trying to catch Dill ju jumping, trying to catch her, uh, getting a little bit too button heavy, but. That's not going to result in this stock. Turnaround forward smash would have. The straight up down smash did not. Can they close out this edge guard? Vivi is able to get back, and they go That's for another the, yep, counter. Three of them. Two and, for one. And one fine is getting the kill. Just how just how the percentage that Vivi had in general. That's that's gonna kill. You know, once you're in a deep breath as the opponent, that that would seem you're done. And oh, yeah. this is what Vivi needs. This momentum, this aura that Vivi has right now is perfect against Dill. Just to record a little bit, of, uh, actually maybe a lot of extra pers of extra credit just in the event that they lose their stock uh, relatively quickly against someone like Rob. Gavin and Daryl throwing off the stage. Okay, not even a factor whatsoever. Barely living as uh, the dash attack. I think that meant to be run off fair instead of dash attack, which. Oh, you're, so pressure, you're gone. You're, you're, oh! Was, were there possibly too low percentage in the... Yes, they were too low, they were too low percentage okay. in order to get a double jump back air yeah. after the Aura Sphere, so went for the hard uh, went for the hard read. I think they could have done Aura Sphere down smash at that percent instead of going for the read on forward smash since down smash is faster. Mm -hmm. But Eevee likes to forward smash a lot of times. He likes to call you out for panic air dodging, uh, and they... Uh, it all, it, it, there's a surprising amount of success rate to that play that they do, but uh, not not able to find it there and Dill evens it up because of it. It, it, it. Squander your opportunity and Rob finds their way back and Dill orchestrates those scenarios very well. Mm -hmm. And Vivi continues to try to activate this counter a little bit Ooh. just too early. You're gone. And yeah. gets punished for, with that cyber off the stage. And there you go, you know. Uh, Vivi's... Timing on the counter only is conditional, you know, it doesn't happen every single time. And it's very difficult to even know what Dill's going to do. Um, you know Rob's going to come in close to you, but do you know if Rob's going to grab you, if he's going to yell until you, if he's going to actually just charge up Jaro in front of you? You never know, and that's the issue with trying to guess as uh, Lucario's counter. And now Dill is at a pretty good uh, advantage state against Vivi if they're able to keep more of, uh, keep up this percentage lead against them. Oh, 40. War now, though. You get the extra boost from being a stock down. Is there, yeah, there's so many more counters in this game. And I don't hate it. I mean, a frame a frame four invulnerable, frame five active counter. Pretty, pretty good, good button. Yeah. But it's punishable on reaction. If Dill, does, if Dill is able to see the counter and just like, okay, I can punish this now because I know I'm not going to run into it. Or, God forbid, just she doesn't see the counter coming, but whiffs the move and is able to get a punish anyway. It's another nice. mash out down air, closes out the stock. Okay, having plenty of aura in order to do so. Yep, plenty of aura to really just keep this game on his toes. Very much on on those tippy toes. Gotta watch those spot dodges. Gets the down air out of shield, looking for it all. And, and a drop down back air from dodge. the platform. Yeah, I think that was another spot dodge that was called out as well. Which, check it out in the replay, see. See into the frames as a spot dodge there, a down air, and catch it. Oh, yeah, just there the it was. spot dodge. Yeah, right underneath the stage. I wonder why though. Like the first spot dodge made sense, and it was very, very well played on Dill to punish that with, uh, to attempt to punish that with a delayed nair. 
This spot dodge, though, you see the landing on the platform. Like, are you getting, maybe you're getting greedy on a punish, you're like, oh, spot dodge, spot dodge cancel, and get like a forward tilt or dash attack or something like that in order to, to keep the momentum in my favor. Mm -hmm. But just holding block there, and it just seems so, it seems much safer overall, especially with the landing on the platform guaranteed. Yeah. Or already seen. Still. It could also just be habit, you know, after you whiff a, a floor smash, Very true, you know, right? your, your safest option, just spot dodge. Because typically they're usually in front of you if you whiff some, uh, something that's close to the floor smash. But, oh, oh, still coming in strong she immediately. Fast fell too far and missed the toss. Uh, that could have been a whole lot more than 37, so count your lucky stars that, uh, that it wasn't. Yeah, no, th that could have been absolutely detrimental. I've seen that exact combo set up from Doe, and it ends, it ends people, you know? Yeah, like, you, so, you finished the food. <laughs> like, you have prepared the food, and you have eaten it. You're eating the plates. You're, Relax. <laughs> like, we, <laughs> we, we, we serve, and then we finish. And then we wash. <laughs> and then we, <laughs> <laughs> and we dry, and we oh, feast. Oh, huge punish we on the double team, on on the counter on the gyro. Yeah, that's the that's the reason why you uh, since you can control the direction. If you're countering a projectile, safest thing is to hold uh, is to hold away from the opponent. Yeah. So you're trying to so you will either like cross up, but at the end of the day, you're far and away like spaced out from them, despite the counter hitbox still being available. But Dill is well, she was looking to get ready to go, but that di down and fair out of shield, getting the counter as well on the gyro, just. Forcing Dill to respect that option, even if she doesn't want to. Again, these uh, these counter scenarios where Vivi's countering and then she reacts so easily to it, um, and that's what Dill's doing. She's just simply waiting for that counter kind of just to wait out. And once you are in that little uh, end lag of the like, move, you are you are completely susceptible to anything that Dill can do. That was an up air instead of a back air, though, as Vivi. Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess the sweet spot of dash attack in order to close out the stock. We, they were at a position where uh, they had enough aura that or sphere throw would beat out, uh, would beat out gyro uh, when it was initially tossed. But we may not be there anymore because of the lack of stock aura at this point. Still got plenty of plenty of projectiles to do with. Vivi's done a good job of parrying a lot of the onslaught, but. Has not been a good job of parrying, uh, I was going to say parrying neutral air, but immediately gets it, so, you know, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang it, man. <laughs> Can't do nothing. Can't commentate. You do the opposite. I'm just bumping. leaving. I'll just leave. I gotta go home. <laughs> it's 1120. Oh, my God. It's 1120. <laughs> Shout out to the time of death. Because we're almost in Thursday, and, but v, uh, it's between three players on whether or not this is, you know, ends before midnight. Ooh, beautiful aura pressure. There it was. That's the, the air dodge in that VV scouts out. It, it's not even a part of their their thought process. They do it automatically. It's it's just something that happens, and I a lot of players love, yeah. give it up. A lot of players be giving it up. I love watching VV do some little bit of aura show pressure, at, or just aura pressure as oh, you're yeah. charging it, and then just move from to the side into first match. Like that's beautiful. Uh, now we have an even, pretty much even game at the moment. VV uh, doing a really good job at, count, at keeping a little bit more percent lead against them. Do you really want that as Lucario? And it's a bit a little hard to kill, but you still want as much advantage as possible because once Dill does one of these as Rob, ah, oh, it's 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 it hurts your soul. Interesting, there was no further platform pressure with even like a Nair or an Orsir charge. Just nothing there as Dill continues to try and run the show here. Lots of down tilts, playing on the ground, trying to play around with this gyro and doing so with very good effectiveness. But Nair 1-2 hit on Bach, which was much, much more tricky than in order to, uh, to try and play around. The difference between just little fast falls and not, but the difference between Vivi is that they just keep nice, jumping. Nice, here it is. Be it. No, once more. I think just too much of a little percentage and didn't do what well, well, the first time was the down smash. I would have... Uh... Uh, so it could have been Aura Sphere charge down smash. It could have yeah. been Aura Sphere into jump Aura Sphere into double jump back air. But tunnels on the forward smash. Vivi wants to ensure your stock is gone. And it can lead to per perhaps openings being lost. 
Oh, Oni punishing with the Nair that time, but it is an offstage scenario. A couple Nairs come out. That was a great grab from Almost Dill. Less. Not gonna close out so on the- is no good. Spread not closing out on the top platform, but Shippen he does after Rob does throw on that, uh, right on that above. You know, that right. little, little bit of leverage against into the blast zone, but, you know, Dill keeping this it- This is so uh, much aura. Like, this is- you're good with the you're traversal <laughs> and almost losing the stock from an E speed counter hit. Uh, full Aura Sphere has to toss yep. and does. That's that's the scary thing about Lucario because it's, it's almost the same issue we have with Rob versus Paulu, where Paulu becomes, well, just she just is faster than Rob. Anyone who's faster than Rob kind of overwhelms the character just because he's slow, he's big, he has to respect the speed of the game that you're setting. And right. once Lucario has that aura at 178... That's a lot. I, that's a fast boy. That's a fast little Pokemon. Uh, the speed buff isn't there from the aura, but the threat of aura sphere charge existed throughout this entire... Like, let's watch this. Like, the threat of aura sphere charge is lasting from here on. Oh my onward. god, how big that is. Oh my god, like, I didn't see how big it was. You saw the size of the sphere. Like, it is, it is two frames. huge. It is a very, very big blue ball. And this blue ball, as soon as Dill lands on this platform right here, right right there, she's almost sealing her fate because she can't shield forever. You, you, can't. Get, hit, you get hit by Nair 1-2. And, and like it's just it's just so much to deal with. Yeah. On top of thinking of like, okay, he's holding death in my they're holding death in my hands. And I think the blue ball hands. goes through the space between the platform as well. So you're yes. not even safe on the platform, you're not safe anywhere. No. What you have to do is just don't get hit. And unfortunately, that big blue ball, you have very limited options. If you air dodge, you get hit by it. If you just land it, you it was over. That, that was Luckily, you, and you only saw it for like a few frames. So yeah. you, did, you had no idea how big it was until the very last few seconds. So unfortunate for Dill. We're going over to a game three tonight uh, between Dill and Vivi for their uh, spot against Jen in Grand Finals. And Jen waiting patiently in the wings as these two Titans are squaring off in, as they tend to do. Looking for the potential jab lock, but didn't dash as far in nice. the coverage was potent on the part of Dill. It would have got the down throw into the immediate forward smash, and that's the type of option that we had seen them sort to evolve a little bit throughout this day. Just on Dill getting a down throw, go for an immediate option, up air or up smash, per, uh, nice. and covering the that forward smash doesn't close out the stock yet. Only 10% is not enough aura to to manage the comeback, though you can manage the game state. And slowly build up your aura, but you're still too slow, but the back air still too low. Can't get oh, enough. Nothing. That aura is a big factor for One Lucario, more. but finally, okay. yes, at, once you're at a high in the percentage, you will be killing as Lucario. It does not matter. Now we have a even a, sh a game again. Two stocks each uh, character, or each player, hello. And Dill having to really work a little bit harder to secure this game for herself, you know, because now Vivi's starting to get that confidence, that that, uh, that boost going. And once Vivi gets that aura, it's, it gets dangerous, it gets spicy. It gets scary. Even. That aura sphere kind of big. It's a very, it's a very very flexible projectile. Though Gyro is equally as potent in its item properties, just trying to prevent VV from doing that jump out of shield forward air they've been doing for so much of these games. Uh, incentivizing that and forcing VV to go for a lot of rolls here, which are uh, can be kind of risky, as we were mentioning in the first set. Lucario's roll, uh, as, you, as, you, as uh, you were saying, Mont just not a lot of distance there. Quick! Bitty. Quick, of course. But, but not, Rob is big. But Rob, yeah, Rob is Catches big enough you. to cover that. <laughs> and Dill's aware of this as well. You Very know? true. Very, very much well knows. Lucaro goes nowhere when he rolls, so here we go. Oh, I, I like that. Plus, you got the skid landing, but the hitbox is still not safe enough on block in order to uh, get you out of a strong up smash out of shield. And hitting both sides like that, uh, the only way you escape that is like if you bounce past it instead of going for the slide landing, you get the little, get the little like stone skip. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's a like. You're, you're doing a very funky angle at that point because <laughs> you're very horizontal. Evie trying to chase down with some of these up bears though. Dill holding steady at 103. Knows that they're in no danger of a stock loss quite yet with Vivi rocking a 15% aura, which is actually more like 30, 35 ish. Oh, with the stock deficit. With the stock right? deficit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But still nothing crazy. 
No, yeah, absolutely not. Maybe a little bit more percentage on Dill's part, then it would be a little more concerning. However, BB... Oh, now it's concerning. Now, now we're getting a little concerned, but the parry was so good into the down air one, into down air one force palm. It is a confirm, but down air one is a lot harder to hit in this game than it was in Smash 4, but you still have some of those combos in order to get a clean 35 and to get past that magic number of 65%. This is where, this is where the game gets real. Yeah, this this is again this is a game three situation. What last game of this goes over the grand finals and BB has finally taken control of the center stage a little bit more. Is being way more patient against Dill. Now we're charging up Lord's Fear a little bit as oh gotta charge up Lord's Fear a little bit more. Um we're not to be secure that whenever one is Lord's Fear kills that we got in the same game, but now Dill is starting to get a lot of damage on her uh, uh, in favor of herself against BB and BB can humor his call out. Board smash nice. was a hitbox. No gyro on deck. Has to land with Nair, but the oh, land no! on the platform was nice. It happened again. And that is. That's the second time it happened. It literally happened again. This time it was the counter, though, as. That's such a dangerous place to counter, though. Like, yeah, first it was the, the spot dodge into Rob just dropping down, back airing, but this time it was just the counter. And I, I think. BV might have Pretty been counts. expecting that actually. Might have been expecting another the drop landing. down bear right. instead of Bell Dodging was gonna counter it and steal the, the stock, but just was too early on it. Could have been, could have been it, that. Like, it could have been the 